Cypher Sounds of Rosenberg Show with K Fox. And what a special, special day. Certainly one of my favorite artists growing up. And Oh, uh, man, thank you. Quite a gentleman. Uh, been in the news quite a bit recently. Bobby Brown is here. What's going on? How are you, man? I'm wonderful, man. I'm wonderful. I'm K Fox, K Fox, don't try to hide. It. Don't try to hide your excitement about Bobby Brown. I'm really excited about Bobby Brown. I know. I I know that you are. First of all, you have an album coming out. Yes, the masterpiece. Now, this is a. How long has this been in the works? This this masterpiece. Uh, last 14 years, man. I mean, I I mean, all the things that I've been through in my life. You know, I I, I just started jotting it down and. You know, trying to put it all together and uh, being seven and a half years clean from narcotics, um, I think God has made a masterpiece. So that's why I called the album the masterpiece. So when you say seven and a half years clean of narcotics. Yes. That means just the hard stuff. Doesn't mean you haven't taken a sip of alcohol in seven and a half years. Oh no, right? no, no. I, 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 I still indulge in you know alcohol beverages. Okay. Okay. Um, you stayed away from the bad stuff. No, yeah. I don't smoke. I don't smoke weed. I don't. No cigarettes or no, anything. No crack. No heroin. No coke. No nothing. Mm-hmm. You know. So I'm good. That is pretty good. Yeah. Is it difficult? A lot of you know because a lot of times people when they quit they go everything because like it's such a tough you know I'm that's well, my close friend for me line. for me alcohol was not a. a um, a trigger for me, you know, loneliness was, you mm. know, um, you know, I was married, but I was still lonely at the same time. But um, um, I'm gratefully, gratefully recovering, you know, from that. And, um, you know, I have a new fiance and, uh, you know, my kids are growing up and graduating college and, you know, things like that. So I'm just grateful. And I have to say, a, a little while ago, I saw you on the Today Show with your whole family. And I feel sort of bad for prejudging on some level, but I have to say I went, well, damn it, Bobby Brown has a beautiful, articulate, put together, <laughs> beautiful family. Yeah. And, I, and I, I, as an American and somewhat judgmental and Whitney Houston lover, I think I felt like I prejudged you. And I, I felt a little bit taken aback by what your family appeared to be. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like a lot of America has prejudged you in that same way? Well, it, it really doesn't matter to me because, you know, as long as I raise my kids the way I've raised them and as long as they um, understand that the press can be, you know, really rude and mean, um, I did a good job. <laughs> I did a damn good <laughs> job with my kids. So I'm really not worried about what anybody says about me because, you know, I can hold my own when it's time to hold my own. Um they call me bad boy because you know the way I perform on stage, not because of my actions in 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 life. Um, yeah, I made some bad decisions in my life, but my kids know about those bad decisions that I made, and I'm I'm working really hard to be, you know, the best that I can possibly be for myself and my children. Any any regrets or feelings at all about that decision to take the stage that night? Was it was that therapeutic no, for you? No, I mean, you know. Um, there was no way I could, you know, get to my daughter. And um, the only way I could, you know, express myself was to be on stage. Um, crying wasn't just going to do it. You know, I cried more than I, I possibly ever cried in my life, other than when my mom or my dad passed. But um, going on stage, she would have wanted me to go on stage, you know, because that's what we do. We're entertainers. And, and when you're an entertainer, you know, the show must go on. You know, and, um, you know, I had to perform. Did you ever regret doing the reality show, or do you regret it now when you did uh, Being Bobby Brown? With well, Whitney? the reality show, I think, you know, no, I didn't regret doing it. I think it was a big wake-up call for myself and her um, for us to find, figure out, you know, what exactly we wanted to do in life. You know. So how's your relationship with Bobby Christina? It's my daughter. Is it okay because ba- there were that's rumors? My that, you know, that's my baby girl. That's my baby girl. Talking to you and no, it was that's just not bad true. stuff going on. No, don't listen to the bad stuff. He was just talking about that. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't listen to everything that people say. You know, um, there, there has to be certain things that you keep private. Well, it seemed <laughs> like you and, and your late uh, ex-wife Winnie Houston had a certain kind of love for each other. Did she ask you out, or did you ask her out? She asked me out. Mm. Yeah. Ladies love, ladies love this man. Okay. Ladies love this man. She was the I'm aggressor. Like, I'm like LL Cool J. Mm-hmm. Ladies love. Okay. But I heard there was a rumor that she blocked out three sections to one of your concerts or three fr- front rows or something like that just to see you perform when when you were no, like doing your thing. Not, that's not true. That's no. not true? 
She just kept showing up. Oh. I just kept seeing her everywhere. And, you know, she was just like, yeah, let's get it. And then finally you were like, okay, then, yeah, we're going out. But that's got to be a pretty funny feeling, too, because it's not just like a really beautiful chick showing up at the time we're talking about. It's Whitney, Whitney Houston, Houston showing up. I mean, this is a, she was already popping. This was not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I doubt that Whitney Houston was the first well-known, beautiful celebrity to approach Bobby Brown mm-hmm. in those days. No. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I dated a few people, but you know, he did all right. I'm, I did all right, you know, <laughs> as a gentleman. Um, but I'm engaged right now, and I'm perfectly happy with everything that I'm going through right now. How old? How old are you? I'm 22. 22. So you hold. Let me do the math. You were born 90. Well, <laughs> when On Our Own came out from Ghostbusters 2. Bobby Brown can rap, what? <laughs> that was a moment, man. I just remember when the song played in the movie, how big it, I don't know, that is that not a big moment for you? Is that bigger for me as a fan who was a kid at the time than it was for you? I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, Do you remember your verse? No. Come on, man. I would have to be on stage to remember anything, any song of mine. That's the only time I could really sing any one of my songs. Nah, come on, Tenderoni. You know, you got to know that by heart, though. Hey, let me help you out. What, Tenderoni? Mm-hmm. I know that one. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, but the hard ones. But you don't. Too hot but to handle. Too cold too to hold. Too hot to handle. Too cold to hold. My name is B Brown. No, not my name is B Brown. You call the Ghostbusters and they're in control. <laughs> Had me throw in parties for a bunch of children. While all the while, slime was under the building. Yep. So they packed up, regrouped, got a grip, came equipped, grabbed the proton packs at the back, and they split. Found out about Vigo, Master of Evil, Evil trying to battle, battle my, my boys. boys. That's not, not legal. legal. Oh! <laughs> it's better in concert, trust yeah. me. Yeah.